I'm Ken Avera of the Streaming Sports Network, and this is your All-Canadian Sports Segment. The focus today, CIS Women's Rugby Championship action taking place this weekend at Trent University in Peterborough. All eyes are on the number one ranked and the defending champion squad from Santa of X. The women's squad have enjoyed an undefeated season, and the big question as we connect with Mike Cavanaugh, the head coach of the squad via Skype, is how much pressure is there on your team, and are you comfortable being that number one seed? Well, I'm happy to be here. Well, I think there's always pressure on you when you're a defending champion. You have the bullseye on your back. Um, I think the last couple of years we sort of uh, slid into the back door. People didn't really know what we're about, but I don't think we'll be fooling anybody this year. I think everyone will be ready for us. Well, there's no denying you've had a great regular season and a championship run up until this point, but when it comes to the CIS championships, you're going to face some elevated competition. Any concerns there? Well, you know, we were lucky. We have 21 players back from last year's team who were here last year. They knew what it takes. They, they're ready. Um, unfortunately, we haven't been tested too much this year. So, you know, we're very good with the ball in hand. We don't know how good we're going to do without the ball in hand. And that's going to be the key thing, I think, for two or three teams here. Well, the good news about being seated first is that traditionally that means an easier road to the championship final. But you open up with a very dangerous game. Tell me about that. Well, definitely. Playing the host team... The first game of the tournament, they're going to be pumped. Trent, they're at home. They're going to want to impress. So we almost just have to uh, weather the storm and hopefully like, you know, let, our, let our skills take on later on in the game and uh, drive us to the victory. So in a game as dangerous as your CIS championship opener against Trent, what's going to be the key? I think so. I think that, um, as I say, if we can play some defense, we don't know how much uh, defense we have played this year, so we don't know how good we are defensively. So I, I truly believe that defense wins championships, uh, especially like, you know, you go with a big uh, offensive game plan, but as soon as things get tight, you throw it all out the window and you get stuck in doing the, the hard things. And I think if our forward pack can get the hard yards and play some good defense, I think we can do well. As you mentioned, you have a number of returning players from last year's championship squad, but when you look at your team in terms of its makeup, how would you describe your squad? I think... I think we're a very experienced team. Like, you know, we have a, probably 12 fourth-year players. Um, I think we're very athletic and very hardworking. As you mentioned, you have a giant bullseye on your back being the defending champs, the number one seed, but there are still some perks that come along with being the top cat going to the CIS championships. Yeah, I think. I think the, the day off in between. So we play Thursday and Saturday, and we have Friday off. So... The team that, that second has to play the, the back to back Thursday and, or sorry, Friday and Saturday. And we'll have a good look at Lethbridge when they play Trent on Friday. So I think that's a huge advantage. So you're about to embark on what you hope will be a championship run. Yes, you have a veteran squad, but do you take time out to say anything, any kind of a Newt Rockney speech to get the girls going? I'm not really a yeller and a screamer. Um, no, I think that, like, you know, we're very good at adapting on the fly, so if there needs to be changes, we can get them focused and, and just get them going in the right direction. Well, Coach, thank you for taking time out of what is a very busy schedule to talk with us, and, of course, good luck to your squad through the CIS championships. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. Well, that's Mike Cavanaugh, head coach of the St. Evex women's rugby team, uh, about to embark on what they hope will be a consecutive CIS Rugby Championship. Of course, good luck to them and all the teams competing this weekend at Trent University. Of note, all that action can be seen right here on SSNCanada.ca.